If you're into PRS guitars, then chances are you're into private stock PRS guitars. And if you're into private stock PRS guitars, then right here I've got one of the very best that they've ever done. This is the Pauls 85. <laughs> Folks, so as I said in the introduction there, this is one of the very strongest guitars that I've ever seen to come out of the private stock collection from Paul Reed Smith. It's no secret that Paul has his own model in the lineup, the Paul's guitar, and it's seen several different guises throughout the course of this year, as well as years prior. They've just kind of put their very best knowledge into this model, it seems, with the Dragon that we saw earlier this year, and now with this private stock. I think this is one of the coolest models that they make. I love the simplicity of this guitar and how honest it is and how best it shows off the virtues of a great builder like Paul Reed Smith. And this guitar is no exception to that. So with the Paul's 85, this limited edition piece, they wanted to honor all their history coming from the very humble beginnings back in 1985 through to present day. But they also just like to show off what they can do with the private stock selection of woods and electronics. So let me walk you through the specs of this Pulse 85 guitar. So the Pulse 85 starts with the Pulse guitar as its format. So the same two narrow field humbucking pickups, which have received the 2020 TCI treatment here, which I talked about in previous videos. I love the way these pickups sound. The Pulse guitar is really simple. So it's just got a single wraparound bridge piece, which I really like. It's got the same volume and tone as the regular model, as well as the independent coil splits for each pickup. Three-way pickup selection switch but that's where the similarities to the regular model end. Everything else on this guitar has been handpicked and overseen directly by Paul in the effort to just make some of the very best instruments they can for the tail end of this year. So some of the private stock treatment includes African mahogany wood for the body. We've got dark Peruvian mahogany as well for the neck. The rosewood fingerboard is a Honduran rosewood, which is also the same as the headstock veneer. You've got red abalone inlays all up the neck and you've got this very nice curly maple binding on the neck as well, which is exactly the same source that they used for this incredible wide curly maple top as well. So it's pretty standard formula, but accelerated to the max. These are the very finest timbers that PRS could get their hands on for this year. And this is the private stock doing its job of creating not only some of the most beautiful guitars, but also tonally speaking, some of the very best instruments that I think they've ever put out. Something that's unique to this guitar as well is the new TCI Nitro over cellulose finish. So this is glossy nitro that's purposefully been designed to get a little bit of that cool cracking over time. So in a few years time, maybe in another 35 years, you're gonna see this as one of the coolest, most retro PRS instruments around. Designed that way from inception. I think that's a very cool idea. So whoever ends up with this guitar, I'm sure you'll keep it for 35 years at least, and you'll get to see just what a treasure this already golden guitar blossoms into. On top of everything that I've just talked about, the looks and the aesthetics and so on, the tone is the most important thing to me, and I always get impressed with these private stock guitars with just how much detail and clarity they have. Those are two buzzwords that I like to use a lot with guitars, but I only try and say them when I really mean it. And with the case of this guitar, as you're gonna hear, it excels in every single one of those points that I've laid down. It's a really balanced tone. The Paul's guitar pickup set is one of the very, the very best that they make, I think, in terms of giving you a nice blend of thick distorted tone with crisp, clear, clean tone as well. If you like that on the regular Paul's guitar and you want to find the very best options that PRS can afford you within that model, I think this may be it. As with all the beautiful things from the PRS private stock, these things come in very small numbers. So this guitar is one of 85, and at present, this is the only guitar that's made its way to the UK. So if you wanna be the first person to grab one of these for yourself, you know what to do. Thank you. 
That's it folks, if you want to find out more information about this incredible private stock PRS then click the link in the description below and head to peachguitars.com to do so. So thank you very much for watching, make sure you leave a like and comment down below with your thoughts and make sure that you're subscribed to the Peach Guitars and the Peach Boutique channels here on YouTube. Take care of yourselves folks and I'll see you next time.